Hey gang, I'm just about to do the uh, reorganization phase for the afternoon turn of the 10th of October for the 1806 game. And I was just looking at how the uh, sequence works. And I'm wondering if anyone out there has played this, and I'll, I may post a question, although I kind of dread to get on Consum Forum and, and deal with that. But since this doesn't seem to be very well supported on BGG, here's the question. Uh, or the the uh, concern I have regarding sequence. Uh, the, one of the first things we do, it says, is that we remove all of the out of uh, command markers from the forces, and that's fine. So I went ahead and pull all those off, and then you uh, then use your command points, which I did do, to put units in command automatically. So we put this guy in command and this guy in command, <coughs> and. Uh, I can also put two additional units in command, and so we'll do that. We'll put that guy in command, and uh, and one other dude we'll we'll pick in a second. And then uh, it says, well, okay, uh, for the facing player can then attempt to remove out of command markers for for all the officers by rolling against the officers' initiative rating. Oh, I just took all the command markers off. Uh, so yeesh. now I don't really know which ones I. Uh, <coughs> I don't recall which ones were out of command. Unfortunately, uh, I actually had only, I hadn't rolled for many, I'd only rolled for uh, one or two here. Uh, this guy here, Bernadotte. So, uh, not a big deal. Uh, so that's fine. Okay, so we, we got to remember which ones, you know, it doesn't sound like to me then that we do actually take all the command markers off. <clears throat> then we, uh, so, so in order to in, in order to take those off, we need to roll against their initiative rating. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we're not going to roll against their initiative ratings because most of them have initiative ratings of one. So this guy has a one. Uh, this guy over here, you can't see. Uh, he has a four, and you couldn't see the other dude has a one because I'm zoomed. This one, he has a one. So I'm not going to roll against those. I want to roll for the individual units. Uh, so that's good. So now I know that because I've activated with the with Napoleon that all the units of the third and all the units of the first are in command. So we would then uh, go to uh, then it says okay then it says uh, put an out of command marker on all the others that are uh, are not ro are not rolling for command as uh, far under their offices. So that would be. You know, uh, those guys, and uh, I rolled for them. I'm going to zoom out for you a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. <coughs> and we've got another formation over here somewhere. Where is Lane? Here he is. So they're going to be out of command. And I'm going to roll individually for those units. So that'll, that'll help us make sense of the situation. But it just seems a little confusing that we are... are uh, so I put the, the officers out of command. I don't put the units out of command yet. Um, otherwise, I, I, I go through the exercise, I take them all off at the beginning of the turn. I roll for the couple of commanders, or, or I put the few that are in command with the with Napoleon, take them off, then I put them all back on again. And then when I roll, I would then, uh, uh, if I roll for the officers, I would then... Uh, Take them. Oh, I wouldn't take them off because I've already taken them off. I see. Uh, but then for the uh, the um, the individual infantry units that are rolling for their own individual command, they would be in command. And I guess the counter, the the information counter stays on. <clears throat> Seems to me like we're putting a lot of counters on and off during a turn, which I guess that's just the way you do it when you're playing an OSG game. So we put all these guys back on over here. He's got to get one. I don't know how uh, there would actually be enough to do everybody if uh, you had a bigger game. There we go. French guard is out of command. He's down here. Uh, I think that's everyone. Now, oh no, because there's another guy on the cab reserve. They're also they're all out of command. Whoops. Wrong counter. Where is the more out of command markers? So put all these guys back on there. <clears throat> okay. And now we move all of the units that uh, the command movement segment. So now we're going to move all of the units that are in command. 
And then we are going to go to the individual unit movement segment and all those units that are out of command, we can roll to get them into command, but they will still keep the counter. They will just have the, uh, they will just be individually getting in, uh, into command or have the ability to move, I guess is the correct terminology. So then the way this will work is that as, uh, since this, this uh, since the first is out of command, uh, the, since Mirad is out of command, we would only put one out of command marker down for his forces so we could take them off here. But I would be concerned that since they're kind of spread out and they're all uh, um, cavalry, that I would lose track of them and not uh, and, and move them inadvertently because they have to pass this initiative check in the out of command movement phase segment to uh, to move and if they don't then they can't move and that can you know make a whole mess of things for road march and things like that all right interesting times we'll keep at it although i probably should have some coffee before i start making videos but we'll see how we uh, do from here